Hi everyone. Someone in um, the Seraph's Craft Artist um, group on Facebook was asking how to make a distressed paper. And I saw that and I thought, that's not hard. It'd probably be easier to show you than to just read a tutorial. I'm going up here to Shapes and I have it on the rectangle and I'm just going to hold my left mouse button and you can make a square, you can make a, you can make a, you can make any shape that you want actually. But in this case, I'm just making this um, partial, it's not an exact square, it's more of a rectangle. Here, I'll make it a rectangle just to, so I can say it's a rectangle. <laughs> but anyway, now what I'm going to do is distress it. So the first step that I'm going to use is the eraser tool. And when I click on the eraser tool up here, over here it shows nibs. You can have um, a round nib. It says use for drawing um, sections using the curved edge. There's the diamond. It says use for drawing sections using a diamond edge. And then there's the square one. Um, what I'm finding is they all make circular edges, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to grab one. And all I'm going to do is kind of rough up my paper. Depends on how distressed you want it. I mean, if you want it to be a perfect edge, you can do that too. And then I'm going to get some of the little things that are left off, take some corners off. But you can do this however you like. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to get my select tool back. And that automatically selects the piece of paper that I'm distressing. Now what I like to do is come over to where it says brush tools. I mean, brush is over on the right side here. And it's on edges. And I'm going to click on the one that says felt. Okay, so once that's clicked on, I'm going to come up here where the color is. I'm going to click on the line that's right next to the color. And you have this little um, slider bar. And right now it's at four points because I was playing with it earlier. So I can come down to here and there's barely anything. You can't even see it. But if I take this and start sliding it up, uh, far, it will distress it. So what I'm going to do now is click off on it. And for some reason, did I pick the wrong one? How strange is that? I just did this and it worked beautifully. Huh. Let me try another one. Maybe I picked the wrong one. Let me pick right. Yeah, there's the grunge. I picked the wrong one. So I'm going to bring it all the way up. And there you have your distressed paper. So when you click on it, what you're seeing is the inside of the paper, the original one. And on the outside, you're seeing the line. Um, maybe what I'll do is put this, I don't know if it'll work in a different color or not. Let me try this, just so you can see the difference. I'll go ahead and click on this first. That helps. And for some reason, it's not showing the black. I was hoping that it would be able to show you the difference, but I guess it's not going to do that. But anyway, this is how I do it. And then um, the other thing that I like to do is come back to Styles. And it's on Texture, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to look for my shadows. And I'm going to experiment. And you can see it ever so slightly, there's a little bit of a shadow there. So... If I click on it again, let's see if I can find a deeper shadow. Not that I would use that, but just so you can see it better um, on the screen. And I think you can see that better. But I think I would use the lesser of the two. Just, I'm just trying to show you. But anyway, um, that's how I make distressed paper. So I hope that this has been helpful. Have a great day.